Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I don't know why I'm in a giggly mood. We just, we love to see it. Today, today is a, is a good day because we're, we're starting Alan Wake. Um, I think I'm going to get Wendy's today. I think, I don't know. I've been thinking about that. And Kai is doing her spooky, her spooky stream where she's going to carve my pumpkin while Lynn reads a really good it's really bad, but it's so bad it's good. A really bad but good fanfic. Hold on. Kai is my Bithel. I think we all know that, though. There we go. Um, but she's going to be carving a pumpkin tonight. And I think I'm just in a really silly, goofy mood. Excited for that. But how are you guys doing? Hey, Louise, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing well. Hey, Lynn, how are you doing? Hey, Bella, just on time. We haven't started yet. So perfect timing. Hey, just right. How are you doing? I hope we're doing good. Hey, I stole your fruit. How are you doing? I hope we're doing good as well. I'm so ex Oh my goodness! Just right, thank you so much for the four month resub. I hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you so much. I also want to apologize again. My hosts are still broken. <clears throat> and so is my voice, apparently. I cannot figure out what to do with the host. I'm going to try re downloading Streamlabs. That's literally the last thing I can think of. I tried clearing my cache thingies on my. It reminds me of the hash thing slasher. Um, on the internet, I tried redoing my alerts. I tried turning my alerts on and off because sometimes that, like, will just fix it. I don't know. My host broke when Twitch decided to reset the stream key. I don't know. Like, I know that shouldn't have any correlation, but, uh, they literally broke, like, coincidentally together. So we love to see it. But I hope you guys are all doing good. We're starting Alan Wake today, Remastered. I played this game a long time ago when it first came out. Um, you know, I was like a child. And I loved it. Um, it was, it reminded me of like something between Silent Hill and Deadly Premonitions. And I never played either of those games, but I've watched them. So Alan Wake was like my version of that. Um, and I really i really liked it from what i remember so um bella was kind enough to tip money and i bought the game and we're playing this this is dedicated to bella <laughs> and i really um i'm really excited so i just want to catch up with chat before we start because in case it goes right into a cutscene. i'm so glad you're doing well louise that is awesome a lot better than yesterday that is fantastic I was so excited, Bella. Thank you. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. You're pissed at your partner? I'm so sorry. I hope I could, you know, make your mood a little better. Um, you should... Do, do they know you're pissed at them? I would definitely try to talk about it if you haven't yet. I'm glad you're doing great, Just Right. That is awesome to hear. You're working on an assignment, which is, uh, a fourth of your fine... Oh, that kind of partner. Oh my god, I'm so... I thought you meant, like, your significant other partner. <laughs> I see what you mean. Okay, you're working on an assignment, which is a fourth of your final... And he did zilch. Okay, then never mind. I wouldn't talk to them. Um, could you tell your professor? Like, could... I? Because they obviously shouldn't get credit for what you did. Um, so I think you should say something. Um... Unless, like, you were instructed not to bother your professor. But I don't think it's fair that they would get credit then for what you did. Um, so, yeah. Forget I said anything about talking to them. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm so excited. Right? Yeah, Bella is a sweet bean. <laughs> hey, Elf Alpha Kid, how are you doing? No problem. I hope you're having a good day working. I hate group work. I hate group work. I'd rather just work alone. Hey, KJ, how are you doing? I hope we're doing good. Your professor keeps ditching class. Well, I, I know that's like, you know. That sucks. I, I don't, I think it's not fair that they would get credit, especially if they haven't done jack shit. I would send an email then. 
and just say, hey, just to let you know, um, my, my partner didn't do anything. So when I turn this in, um, this is all my work and I don't think it's fair that somebody who didn't do any of the work gets my credit for it. I would, I would send them an email because it's, it, you know, if you want the credit, do the work. All right, let's, okay, I think my PS4 is dying because, um, I don't know, I see, like, little flashing white orbs all over the place. L little ones, but, um, it started playing Red Dead, so I thought it was Red Dead, but now I'm seeing it on the PS4 screen, so rip my PS4. Anyway, let's get started. Alan Wake, I don't know if this is gonna be loud enough or too loud, so this is, like, a little test. <laughs> got a concussion and is in the, oh my goodness so is anyone like taking over their class um that's crazy so are you guys like on your own okay i do want to say there was that little warning right there about um epilepsy so um there's flashing in this game, just FYI. Just letting you all know that. Okay, wait, whoa, what's happening? Ooh, is this the intro? Ooh. This seems a little quiet. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Hold on. Wow, this looks... I don't remember any of this. I don't know, this might still be a little too quiet. I remember that guy. I don't know, like, very little bit. Bits and pieces. I don't remember what this game was about. I just remember there's, like, weird entity. Yeah, those weird... Ew, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> I don't know if I... We should watch the whole thing. I miss when games... Do games still do these, like, intro things? Oh. We love that. Oh, no, wait, never mind. I was gonna say, isn't that some with the lighthouse? But I think that's evil with it. So never mind. <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, let's, let's get started. So, alright, options. Before we do anything... Subtitles we want on enlarge font size, um, background opacity. I have no idea. Um, video commentary. I'm gonna keep that off. I don't, I don't know. Audio. Everything is fully maxed. So I'm just gonna try to stay quiet. But let me know if it's too quiet. I'll turn it up when, when the game starts. Um, mm, I'm going to leave all that on. I don't have a wireless controller. And we'll, I guess we'll see how the subtitles look. Okay. Alright, are we ready? I'm a little nervous. Lots of flashing lights. Okay. I wanted to warn you that there's some DM... Is there? Okay. Do you, um, do you know where it's at? Probably, if you don't, Bella, that's totally fine. The radio in the songs after the chapters. Okay, thank you for letting me know. I will probably, hopefully I remember to mute myself, um, or mute the game, rather, when that happens. Um, is there a way to turn the radio off in the car? I, I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hey, Jen, how are you doing? I hope we're doing good. Was it among us, right? Was it look like a floating, uh, astronaut? <laughs> Alright, we'll see how this goes. Right now, we'll, we'll start. Um, we'll see how this goes. Ooh, easy, normal, nightmare. We're gonna go on normal, because I usually play on normal. Alright, we'll see how... Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, 
But there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and is what we'll remember <laughs> in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. What a name. Let me know if that's too quiet. This seems even more quiet than Red Dead. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Ooh, a dream. You'll find radios around the Following place. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately you, trying Bella. to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I've been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Ooh. Oh, what? Not me hitting a man. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Ooh. Damn, this is like me in Red Dead when I ran into that horse and guy. He was dead. I was convinced they put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. <laughs> I'll catch up with Jared in one second. Hold Suddenly, on. his body was gone. Ooh, okay, so we're in the nightmare. Episode I was one in nightmare. Shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Uh look up to the light, R turns the camera. Reverse your controls for looking up and down? No. You can change camera. Okay. Wow. It's just crazy. I feel like I'm... I don't know what I'm doing, but this. I had to go to the lighthouse. Okay, okay, hold on. I, I need to catch up with chat for a second. For Alan, hold on. Ooh, Alan, hold on. I don't want anyone to attack me. Um. Oh, cool. It tells me my objective right there. This, um, this just feels like a blast from the past. I'm having a lot of fun. All right, let me just catch up with chat really quickly before I get into the thick of it, as the backyardigans would say. I'm doing great, Jen. Thank you for asking. I'm so excited. Again, I haven't played this game since it came out. And I think it came out in like, oh boy, I want to say like 2008 or 2009. I don't know. I was, I was a wee young kid. <laughs> this assignment, um, topic uh it needs to be done in groups unless you write in the education okay department of letter uh 30 page document more or less under your okay about your under topic uh wow your group is to do a quiz with your professor wow and then only okay get your diploma I, I would then just continue, um, doing what you're doing. And honestly, so it seems like you have to know the topic to pass. So if you know what you're doing and you do the work, I think you'll be fine. Um, your partner though, probably not so much if, you know, cause they're going to need to know the material, um, I don't, you know, with what they, with what they have written, you know, which is like nothing. Um, so I guess I would just see what happens, but I would just continue, you know, um, doing your thing and working on it and, you know, karma will bite them in the ass if, you know, it isn't an option to, um, you know, complain about them. Karma will bite them in the ass some at some point. SpaghettiOs. <laughs> uh oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Sam upon killing a man? Stop. I would, if I, I could, uh, that's exactly what I'd say if I hit someone. 
your professor can't really help. I would I would then just continue, yeah, with what you are doing because it seems like what you're doing, what you're supposed to be doing, and hopefully justice then will be served to your partner. Whole game, um, is this dark in case there's peeps with light? Okay. All right. Thank you for telling me, Bella. And thank you about the radio heads up stuff as well. Right? I love this cow. I love Alan. I don't know why. If I call him George at all, I'm talking about Alan. Don't ask. I don't know where it came from. We love the backyard again. The most powerful backyard again. See, I'm, my bias is Pablo. My accent. I am Sam's accent. Uh, I've been told, actually, um, that I have an interesting accent. Um, good old Midwest. Good old Midwest. Good old Chicago. I don't know. <laughs> good old Chicago. I say Chicago kind of funny. Um... But my bias is Pablo. But I feel like, um, I feel like Austin has, like, a, a little bit of a secret side to him, you know? Yeah, Joan Cousy. <laughs> That's who I, people have told me I sound like her, which I, I will take it. We love Miss Debbie. Um... But yeah, good old, good old Chicago. <laughs> hey, Drea, how are you doing? I hope we're doing good. You can do that. I stole your fruit. Yeah, especially since you're carrying the whole team. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, see, I feel like... I feel like Austin has something up his sleeve, Lynn. You've worked in tourism for a long time, and I can usually narrow it down to various parts of North America, but not a practice with COVID. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm from the good old Midwest. Right? Yeah, he has untapped potential. Definitely. Maybe even Tyrone as well. Do you have a Chicago party ant on Netflix? Wait, no. It's animation... Really? You don't sound as Chicago as <laughs> I've never heard of that. Wait, I'll have to look it up. M yeah, maybe that's it. Because we don't, I don't live directly in Chicago, but that's what I, that's what I like to say. Uh, so maybe that is why. Good old Chicago accent. My, a lot of my family does though. I'm so glad you're doing good, Drea. That is awesome to hear. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. You were 20, so how many did your, uh, other partners write? How, none? Like, did you only, like, if you wrote, whoa, did you see him stop like that? 23, um, all right, we gotta go this way. 23 pages, how many did everyone else write? Checkpoint reached, all right, we gotta go to these lights. I remember we have to stay in the light for a lot of the the game. Wait, I see some spooky. There's something like shiny over here. I can't can I not get over there? No, I can't. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Collectible thermos pickup. Can I can I die? You know, I don't want to find out. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. In this case. Oh, I knocked that over. In this case, me. Can I do anything with this beer? No? Okay. Um, alright. We need to get to the lighthouse. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, my God. What the actual you hell? Recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you could just make oh my effing God! I'm scared. I'm scared. Like Run, you bitch! What the frick are you doing? Oh my God! I can't do this. He's not even running. He's like walking. At... He's doing a weird little. I don't know. 
don't know what I'm doing. Wait, he's gonna kill me. Missing? Wait a minute, that's me. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm running. Get me out of here, bitch. Oh my god, he knocked that out of the park. Please. I'm scared. You missed your oh my god, this is too scary. Um, okay. Woo! Oh my god. This is scary. Ooh, a cinematic moment. Is he still here? I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story oh. I've been watching. He's not even real. What the frick? Yo, I had the scariest dream last night. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> we do. We do root for the bears. The bears are our team. The bears. The bears. I'm not a big fan of American football. But my, my dad is. My dad is. I would then just continue doing what you're doing. I stole your fruit, and then hopefully karma will bite them in the ass. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Please. This is his sprint. This is a jog. I can't do this. Oh my god, I'm scared. Run faster. Oh my god, what is he doing? What? Hello? I'm trying. I am holding the button down. I don't know who that man is. Oh, oh, now it's kind of loud. Oh no! Stop! No! Damn it! Die! No! 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 Oh my God! Now, wait a minute. I was trapped. There was no way out. Now, wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Oh. What a nightmare. Ew. I'm scared. Okay, hold on. You know, this this seems very, very loud. Hold on. Um, mm, we're going to turn that these down just a couple. Maybe I'll turn the music down um, more. Let's see this. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? We're 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 gonna do it this way. We're gonna do it in the Elgato. Hold on. All right, I'm just gonna put it back to what it was. Okay, hopefully that is better. This seems this this is, this is kind of scary. I don't remember any of this. I chose normal. I chose uh I chose normal. It was either easy or normal. Nightmare was locked, but I probably wouldn't have chose that anyway. <laughs> hey Neo Behemoth, how are you doing? I hope we're doing good. Is this death note? <laughs> I mean maybe. I got one. I got one coffee thermos so far. I I saw it shining in the background before before this deranged uh, entity w had a wielded an axe. <gasps> You're a Packers fan? Oh, that's fine. I don't, I'm not a big uh, football fan, so I don't, I don't mind. I just know we, we don't like Packers. <laughs> but actually, my mom's boss is a Packers fan and they're friends, so... I, I think I could look past it. I think I could look past it. 
Normal is quite hard. Oh, we love to see it. Where the frick am I going? Oh my god, I'm so scared. I can't do this. What the hell? Oh my god, get me out of here. Get me out. Oh my god, I'm actually dying. What the heck? Dude, I can't even move. You are hurt. You should go into the light. Oh. You are only safe there. Get me in that light, bitch. Oh my god. Okay, that was so spooky. Well done, love. I have something important to tell you. Who? Like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? Uh, no. no. <laughs> oh. That's pretty fancy. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. You all know how I feel about games that give you like this way. There's no time. Stair mechanics. Ooh, what is this? Has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make you vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Where? Give me, give me that. Turn your burn. Toward him and burn the darkness away. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. You did it. Now what? Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside. Okay. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your He's enemy. my enemy. Oh my god, give me that. Now you'll die. Oh my god. Give me more of these. Oh. Good. You've done well. Okay. We I love to about. see it. We burn I and shoot. <laughs> Terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Boosting the light with L2. Ooh, nice. Uh, blinds enemies and burns the darkness. Okay. Give me all that ammo. We got unlimited ammo. Damn it. Okay. All right. So I got now have a flashlight. We love to see it. This is, uh... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> I stole your fruit. Thank you for the awkward fart. I appreciate it. Wait, didn't... Isn't this... Yeah. I can't even take more of this. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Wait, am I... Uh-oh. There's something bad going on. There's some bad going on. Uh oh. I made a mistake. I think I took too long. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god, there's there's two of them. Holy shnikes! Okay, okay. Oh my god, my- Okay. Woo! We're doing good. Reload faster. Okay. We're doing it, man. Oh my god, I have no more batteries. I have no more batteries. What is this? Battery? <gasps> no, wait, that's flare gun ammo. What? Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna keep my gun out really quickly. I have no more batteries, though. This is fun! I don't remember any of this. This is... I love this. Oh. 
I love stair mechanics. Just like oh my god. Jeez. Whoa! I almost messed that up. I need help. Um, I'm gonna wait till my flashlight regenerates. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bella. Thank you, guys. Am I going the right way? I don't... Oh, man. What? Where are you? Oh, my God, you're right there. Damn, he went flying. Oh my god. I can keep this up. Holy mo okay. Oh look, it said Alan Wake up there. Alright, we're going this way, it appears. Oh my god. Okay. Do I have like a it doesn't look like I have a stamina gauge that I can see. So why am I doing a light jog? Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Take a coffee break really quickly. We did it. <laughs> right? He Ooh, he's an old man though. <laughs> I had a really scary dream last night. There was like a clown. Like a weird demented clown chasing like a bunch of I I've never seen Squid Game, but it was kind of like it. Like people like went and it was it was disguised as a club, but people went in and it was like a oh god, oh spooky. It was like a damn it. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> Baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. We dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Damn, our wife is hot. Yeah, she's really pretty. Welcome to Bright Falls. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Alice, that's right. I remember Alice is a big part of this game. Um, nice. How am I supposed to walk around? But yeah, it was like really scary, and there were like people like just running. Oh, let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Okay, so I feel like the... The speech... We're gonna turn these down. Because I feel like I... When they talk, it's a lot more quiet than the background noise. So we'll see how this goes. Um, anyway, there was just a clown chasing people around, and it was scary. Hi, <laughs> Hi old man. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deer Fest is just two weeks away. Deer Fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Okay, but you like... a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying that. I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice <clears throat> to meet you. Yeah, I'm Ellen Wake. 
Not me not I shaking his hand. Recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Ooh. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you do have a lovely holiday. Why did he just get, like, super quiet? Okay, but, like, did she get permission to take this old man's photo? I think not. What about him? Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Ooh. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got him. Are the locals giving you... I remember Barry? No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. <laughs> I remember Barry. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Oh, look at the deer you, in the back. For deer fest. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. We love Barry. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Okay, I'm assuming I need to probably turn this off. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. Oh, I remember that name. I am turning this up again. I'll go fill her up where you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. <laughs> it's not even what she said. <laughs> I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking Mr. for... Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake, our... Oh my God. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I will say I can't believe it. I got all your books. <gasps> Thermos. I got the cut up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. For you. <laughs> um I will say from the Try remaster. The Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing okay, listen, I'm trying... I'm, under a thin layer of skin. The models look really yeah, good. I don't know. Tools. Like, compared to what they were, I don't remember what this game used to look like, but I, I'm pretty impressed with this. Long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation What the with frick is Alan going on Wake? over there? Uh-oh, I'm scared. I need to get that thermos. Are you on your own, or is your wife with you? I can show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Oh my god, Rose, what are you- Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number okay, six Okay, I jukebox. might have to turn this off. I do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Jesus. Yeah, are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call Don't use the jukebox? Rocker. Okay. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, we're not going to turn it on. Take that, though. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Not Just that song. Brothers. Don't think I won't All right, that door's locked. Your sleep. Let's mm -hmm. go. Yes, that's my favorite tune. I didn't even turn it on. <laughs> 
you can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky uh -oh. to get the key and get Here out we as go. soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Damn. He's kind of, uh... Rude. But maybe... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Hello? Mr. Stucky? <laughs> Mr. Stucky is Stucky. Oh my god! Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. No, but... No, 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 no. I would not take this from... Okay, she looked like she just came from a funeral. What... Was it Mr. Stucky's funeral? Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. I don't like this lady. And she sounds like Yzma. You can't trust that. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. You think that lady's still there? Uh, oh, oh, oh. I hadn't seen her leave, but the old lady was gone. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm throwing this key in the garbage. I don't think so. I love Yzma. Excuse you. <laughs> We we love Isma. <clears throat> Not them sleeping. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> Jesus. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe I should join their table. <laughs> Excuse me. I wish. Okay. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Damn. Oh, musicians, you say? Wait a minute. Hey there. What do you play? Anyways. <laughs> I'm just kidding, please. I'll work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the park cafe. The poison? Right? I... He look, they, they look this, really good over there. This is what coffee should taste like. Oh, Rusty, that's so sweet. I'll swing by with the fresh cuts later on. Oh my god, I would roll my eyes. Look at how nice we look. Hi, Mr. Wake. Bye. Good boy. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. What the hell? Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Did someone knock him out? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Damn. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed this to This is so crazy. Now. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBFF. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in the sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time. Oh God! Ago. Oh God! If I hadn't been able wait, to write. Wait! Wait! Hold on. What if? What if I just did this? Um. What if we just turn the music all the way down? Word in two years. Oh, jeez. Okay. Last book. Well, we'll see how this goes. Wow, what a nice little cabin. Oh, but, 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 
Don't even think about it. Okay, I'm muting that for a second. Is it over? Okay, I think it's over. Just in case, you just never know. I turned the music down, though, so... You know. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Really? Damn. Me, though. I mean, it's not a phobia, but I don't like the dark. This is so pretty, but also terrifying. I don't like the water. I don't like the deep water. Oh my god, that was a giant bird. Bird leg cabin. Nice. Any coffee thermoses over here? Any secrets? Secrets. Is she following me? Oh my god, she's taking her sweet ass time. Nobody knows how to jog. I wish I could, like, move the camera back. Wow, this is all explorable. I wonder if you could do this in the original. I'm assuming yes. I don't know why there would be, like, a coffee thermos out here, but, like, you just never know. I don't know if there's any other collectibles, too, or if it's just, uh... You know. If it's just coffees. But that's my kind of game, coffee. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh. Maybe I need to do this. Nice. Alright, I'm assuming I had to do that, but who knows. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Wait, what? I, I, I didn't even get to look around. All right, well, we love to see it. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. That was from the opening. Here. When, uh, okay, but I'm looking for coffee. We love coffee. <sighs> ah. All right, I guess there's no coffee out here. <gasps> That's not coffee. All right, let's, well, let's go back in. Right, yeah, coffee's more important than our wife. Whoa. Alice? Honey? Ooh, what's this? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on a shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Damn, not the shade to Thomas Zane. Damn. <gasps> Coffee, I knew it. Wait, they called him Tom in the diner. Wait, who called him Tom? The old the old men called him Tom? Wow, what a what a house. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> she has a surprise for me. Okay, I don't want to turn that on. Well, do you think I need to hold on? guests have already started to arrive just ran into one on the ferry famous artist no less than you gotta be kidding me if we can rope them into an interview later on now let's uh, go to the phones call her you're on KBF. that's me hi pat it's rose well hello rose what's on your mind i know who that famous artist is. oh my god alan wake wasn't it uh. he's my favorite writer <laughs> well rose I... I just saw him at the diner oh, oh, I am so busted here. i'm sure he's glad to be here too well 
I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM, and now it's the music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. All right. I did turn the music off. Okay, so the music isn't going to play. So that's good. Okay. That's fine by me. Alan, I'm coming. Waiting. We're on our way. <laughs> What's going on here? Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Oh. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Well then. It's July? Wait a minute. No, it's not. This is 1970. I have a cell phone. This is not 1970. When was the last time someone has been here? Right, I'm really... I, I'm really... This is... This is... Uh, oh. Surprise! <gasps> a typewriter. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, Ooh. you, everyone keeps... Hey, 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 just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear... What? God damn it, Alice. Can she like God not damn. I'm confused. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. Huh. oh shit. Oh no, here we go. Right, we love the 1970s. <laughs> I love this game though. It's uh Uh-oh. Okay, he just stands there. The oh my god. Dark. All the lights were out. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Help! Oh my god! What the fuck? Right, oh my coming. god. No! What the hell? Alan! Help me! I'm coming, bitch! What the hell? This is... I don't remember. I don't remember any of this. Keep going, Alice. Wake up. Alice? Where am I? Am I in my... I'm in a car. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. What the heck? I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible All right, we're trying to, to find our wife. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. <laughs> I'm coming, bitch. Man, those birds really uh really got me there. Where Where am I? What is that? There's Oh, no, that's just a light. How did I get here? Holy crap. Whoa. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. All right, well... You know, we're going to have to go find him, I think. Now, I'm wondering why... I feel like during the cutscenes... Now, maybe that's what this is. Cinematic volume. So maybe I'll turn that up. I feel like the... When they're talking during the cutscene, it's a lot lower than just in the normal game. So I'm going to turn that up. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. But how do we even get there, man? Like, how do we get here? We we just, we dove off the... 
It's a mystery. Damn. Oh, I was supposed to look at... <laughs> I was supposed to look at my car falling. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, we love to see it. Oh. Do I not have a flashlight anymore? I'm all alone. But this really reminds me of the evil within. I know, like, it's still very different. Hello? Whoa. It's still very different, but it definitely reminds me of it. Especially, like, they kind of look the same. Oh, okay, just kidding. Sebastian and Alan Hello? have the Someone same kind of look. What is that? What what is this? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Oh no. Are you kidding? All right. So, should we read Departure these? by Alan Wake. Uh. What the fuck? The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. The it was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Wow. Love to see it. Why couldn't he write about something happy like, I went to a restaurant and ordered chicken, you know? Why couldn't it be something, something like that? Do we have any more of the manuscript? I do. He's got a very good voice. No, we have to be with an axe murderer in the forest. You gotta be kidding me. I wanna be in a restaurant eating chicken. God, this area is huge. How am I gonna find coffee? Okay. <clears throat> oh, only in hard mode. Oh God, okay. I, and I couldn't, I couldn't do nightmare, I don't even know if I, I probably wouldn't have a nightmare mode, um, need, what the fuck? Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. I didn't even see them, I was too busy looking around. Um, the, it was, uh, it was locked. So I'm assuming I have to beat it on, like, normal first. All right, well, at least there's a lot of checkpoints, so I don't have to worry. I also... The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all oh. the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Oh, no. This is the one part I I remember, because it, like, traumatized me when I first played it. This lumber mill. I, I remember this lumber mill. I don't want to miss coffee, but I don't know why there would be coffee in, like, the woods. But you never know. You never know. Hey, Ellie, how are you doing? I hope we're doing good. I hope you're having a good day. Okay, there's no... I don't see no coffee over here. I don't got nothing. I don't got no gun. I don't got no flashlight. I'm stuck on a log. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay, what am I doing here? There we go. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God, I hurt myself. You got... You gotta be kidding me. Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident. My wife is missing. Please. I hate this part. Hey! 
Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Oh, shit, it's the guy! Non-refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Please. Fair and square. Wait, fair and square, bitch. Wait, fair and square with me? Please, please don't do this. I am literally unarmed. I'm gonna throw up. I can't do this. <laughs> um, I'm walking. Oh, I saw something shiny. Aha! Uh, I'm scared. Oh, you're having a bad anxiety day. I'm so sorry, Allie. I hope I can help uh, with that. So just relax. Oh, Allie, I'm so happy. Oh, manuscript page. All right, let's read that. We're playing Alan Wake. And Alan is um, losing his damn mind. I actually don't know. We're, we're stuck in this nightmare. And um, there's a mad man shadow figure with an axe that is running around this lumber yard and i remember it traumatizing me when i was younger right carl what happened to you the taken stood before me it was impossible to focus on it as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease it was bleeding shadows like ink underwater like a cloud of blood from a shark bite i was terrified I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Okay, but like, I don't have the flashlight you're talking about? Oh, bitch. Give me the flashlight. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Ooh. I mean, he's already done that. Nice! I have my ammo. During your... Ew! I don't like hearing Train. people run. It's the Give me the batteries. Can test them, Proven health benefits let you kill <laughs> This is so scary. <laughs> you can see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels. Yes. Right fall sheriff station. Only at the door. Oh fuck. Hello? Oh jeez. I'm scared to go out there. I don't wanna can I I'm just gonna live in here. Ooh. Oh my god. This bad. <gasps> oh bitch, I'm leaving. Oh my god, I can't leave. I can't Okay. Oh my god. What do I do? Oh my god. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. <laughs> I love The Shining. Oh, I love that movie. It's so scary. I actually didn't read the book. Okay. Uh, and I feel like, oh, I'm just going to say, I'm, I didn't read the book. I watched the movie. The book, I'm honestly like terrified because I'm terrified. I love the movie, but I'm terrified of it. I can only imagine how scary the book is. I know my mother said she read it when it like came out and she um she like had a hard time using sinks for like the next month and I was like, "Ooh, that's scary." Uh 
So the game is inspired by Stephen King. That's so cool. You started reading the book and it had to stop. It was too scary. That's so scary. Oh, my God. It's scary, but really good. I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to read them both and then scare myself. What am I focusing on? Uh, oh, the bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hope Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. I'm an idiot. I was hitting R3 and not L3, moron. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have a boss fight. <gasps> oh my god! There were more of them. All right, freeze, bitch! Oh my god! My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Yeah, this is messed up. Like, am I alive or am I dead? Is this, you know, you know how like in Silent Hill, you know, they're like dead, but they're like alive. Is that, is that what's happening right now? What is that? Oh, arrow. <gasps> Arrows! What is this? A little suspicious. Oh! Every hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Oh! Nice! Oh, I got the flare gun. Alright, nice. So, um, cool. I saw that on a whim. <laughs> All right. I, I, can I do so? Yeah, here we go. Turn on. Oh, I guess I don't need to do that. I guess I should have did that before. All right. We got other stuff over here. What do we got over here? Absolutely nothing. But this, we got to kick it. Oh, okay. Maybe I needed whatever. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. This way? I hope I got all the coffee in that area. I saw uh, a little bit of Dr. Sleep. I didn't read it. I saw a little bit of the movie, and that's really scary, too. You watched a clip from it today? The old one, Louise, or the, the, the new movies? They're both pretty scary. They are very King style. I have, I will say that. Just from like what I have read of Stephen King and seen. Um, it is very like it. And do, doesn't he? Oh my God. Didn't they mention Stephen King earlier? Um... Ooh, batteries. Nice. I need that. Oh, I see something up there. Earlier in the game? I swear they mentioned his name. I saw something. Hey, I saw something. Manuscript page. G give me that. Oh. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Damn! Okay, I swear, maybe it was the manuscript I saw down there. Hold on. I want to go back and then look. Yeah, I think it was the manuscript. It wasn't a coffee thermos. Unless I could go this way. No. Are you kidding me? I could easily go over that. Please. 
You best believe, if I was ever stuck in a game, I would be climbing. I can't climb shit, but I would be, I would be climbing. I'd be climbing around. Oh, God, I'm scared. You went to, tw okay, the 2017 one. That one is pretty scary still. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought they mentioned, Stephen King. Mmm. Ah, I like that. Pat Mean. Uh oh. What was that? What the hell was that? That's what I'm saying. Why don't it look like we're in the jungle? That's what I'm saying. What the hell was that? Spooky. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Oh, okay. I take it I don't look at the water then. Uh, what? Well, okay, I thought I saw a spider on my wall. We're good. They seem to like to make themselves known when I'm streaming, it appears. And then I look like the- Aha! And then I look like the bad guy. I've probably missed thermoses, but that's okay. I- Ooh. But, like, it doesn't look that deep. What if we just go for a swim? I mean, we'd be there in no time, you know? We'd be down there. Look at these little trees. Oh, I think I go that way. Okay, so we go this way. <laughs> wait, no, wait. Which way do we go? Aw, oh, shit. What the frick was that? Do I go that way? Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking. Wait, maybe we do go that way. Maybe. Okay, wait, hold on. I think this is just supplies. No, it's not. It's a manuscript page. Okay, well, it's still something. Barry's arrival. Barry Wheeler was bouncing <clears throat> off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. Oh, no. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon. But Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. So, does that mean he's writing? Because he said, like, this was a manuscript for a book that he was writing, or he had an idea for, but he doesn't realize he's writing. Why are the characters, though, the people that he knows or have met? Um, so... Like, what's, what's that about? You know? Like, where, why, why are these actual, like, people? You're watching the bit where Georgie loses his boat. Oh, my God. They actually show it in that version. And, like, the, in, in the one with Tim Curry, they don't show Georgie, uh, like, getting dragged in the sewer. Um, but they do that in the 2017 one. It's really messed up. Right? Good question. <laughs> I, you know, I don't, sometimes games, like, go over my head and it doesn't click. Like, I know Ruler Rose, if you guys ever played Ruler Rose, it was on the PS2. It was very, I think, I think it was a good game. Mechanics were pretty shit, but the, the concept, I think, was pretty good. I didn't get the game at all, and I had to read, like, the wiki about what was actually going on, and then it all made sense. I don't know if this is going to be one of those games where I'm going to have to, like, actually literally read what it symbolizes. But right now it's looking like he's living through one of his books. But the book is his experience here. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Because <clears throat> if he doesn't remember writing it... That mean, I'm like, 
is the book writing as he goes or is this all planned out you know you know what i'm saying your teacher paused okay well that's good <laughs> yeah because after that it gets pretty gruesome um it's so sad because georgie's so cute i don't wait where do i go do i go that way i think we go that way okay so let me go this way Oh my god. <laughs> um Um I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't, Oh man, I'm back here. All right. What the hell was that? Okay, so, um, good to know you can actually when fall I saw in the, the water. Below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I good realized to know that I'd you have can to find actually die. Pass. I didn't even want to look at the water. All right, let's go get that manuscript again. Wait, wait, do I have to get that thermos again? I gotta be careful. I do have to get the thermos again. All right. Damn. I was running for it. Okay, so... Oh, I guess we're tired. All right, give me that manuscript. Whoa, what's he doing? What the f... Is he okay? I don't know if we have to read it again. I don't think we do. Hopefully not. Oops. We'll just continue. <laughs> he is funny looking. You know people, uh, when that movie first came out... Oh, God. Like, the one with, uh, Bill Skarsgar? I don't know if that's how you say his name. Um... People thought he was, a, like, was still attractive, like, dark, Pennywise was hot. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys that. <sighs> oh. I still have never seen Woman in Black, um, but it's on my list. I watched La Llorona, like, a couple weekends ago. That was kind of scary. Especially knowing it's, like, a real thing. Pennywise was on. They were, they were right. We love that. Oh, what is that? Lithium batteries. Hell yeah. Wait, does that mean we're having a boss fight? Oh, man. Alright, I want to make sure I don't miss anything else. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to tell you guys that. But yeah. There were fanfics wrote about them and him and, you know. We love to... Don't even think about... Oh my god! Oh my god! Not the throwing knife attack. moly oh and I don't regain health unless I'm in the light can I just shine this battery on myself or this flashlight on myself I have to find light to get uh health back I'm like a plant photosynthesis anything down here where's all the secrets <clears throat> is it gruesome? Oh god, I'm scared. Um All right. <laughs> Jen, I'm so sorry. It's um <clears throat> It's like 
they themselves aren't scary because like they're really just if you think about it they're just like humans with like a shadowy cloak on but it's like their man their mannerisms their mannerisms it's just so spooky what was that You know, they're, they're not, like, some deformed creature in, like, Silent Hill or something. I think this is going to be a boss fight. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. What about that, like, telekinetic power that, you know, like, from the last time? All right. Oh, okay. I got to remember to come back here. Because I can't take any more. I couldn't stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Oh, no. Okay. Anything up here? Any secrets? I hope I don't miss it. I need to get up there. I need to get my... Le oh! I see something over there. Oh my god, wait! Oh, I forgot you could take fall damage. Give me this thermos. Do I get health from this? No. It's just a collectible. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Excuse me. I got the hiccups. All right, let's go this way. <laughs> you're good. I don't know. You're good. What was? What is that? Oh, okay. We're good. Just kidding. If I watch it, Louise, I'll let you know. I'll give you a, like on a scale of one to ten how um how scared I was of it. What? Oh my God! You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Okay, th th this throwing attack is fucking me up. Oh my gosh. Spooky. Okay, we I'm going to go get that uh other one now. Where did I Where did I leave that? Over here. Man, he runs for two seconds and then he's like, I'm done. Alright, nice. Man, I was ambushed. Alright, let's see. Nice. Nice. Oh, I need that. I need my health. Okay. Oh, wait, but th there I could get it here. Okay, yeah, here we go. All right, we're good. What do we got going on in here? <gasps> Shotgun! You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm gonna still take the, the revolver out. All right, what do we got here? Wake attack by birds. I heard them before I saw them. Swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes. Wow. Black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Hmm. That's spooky. So you gotta wonder, if you think about it, he can't be in a nightmare right now. I mean, maybe he's in some weird, like, limbo, but he called the police department and they answered like it was normal. Even though Mr. Stucky is, you know, 
like one of these shadow creatures. So, you know, it's different than the nightmare he had when he was dreaming. So this is a little, it's a little messed up. All right, we're, we need to make a bridge, I think. Did I do it? I hope so. I guess we'll f we'll find out. Oops. <laughs> I keep wanting to hit X to just climb. I hope this is uh hmm. All right, I think yeah, we did it. Okay. All right, what do we got over here, though, first? Any secrets? A lot of nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Ooh, but here's something here. Am, am I fully healed? I think I am. Shotgun ammo, nice. Oh, and we have a radio in here. I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and <laughs> breathe Hell no. in deep. <clears throat> mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do listeners know what? I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Oh my god, I'm wasting it. Makes an old man <laughs> like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful <laughs> out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, uh -oh. if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Uh-oh. Usually he comes back, but we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he was just... Uh-oh. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Am I going to have to fight a dog? Yeah. You have a good night now. You gotta be kidding me. Am I gonna have to fight a dog? I didn't sign up for that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Where? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This way. We got a secret. I don't want to fight a dog. Oh. What, wait, where did that? Okay, arrow. Aha! I am so good at this game. <laughs> I am just kidding. Nice, but we uh we got like a bunch of ammo. We're doing I think we're doing pretty good. Hopefully there's no um coffee over here. But that guy's dog is missing, so I'm scared. I'm gonna have to like fight a dog. I don't wanna fight a dog. Ooh. Wake finds pages. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. She. So did Alice actually drown, or did what if we killed her? Oh my God, that's where we were like a while ago. That's the lumber mill. That's crazy, man. We came all the way around here. That's cool. We could still see it. 
What if we killed her? Oh my goodness gracious. And we're like living through our the gas remorse. station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. What? Uh-oh. This guy's talking about hot dogs. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I have to fight a guy talking about wieners. Hurry, hurry it up. <gasps> you gotta be shitting me. Get off of there, bitch. Oh my god. Get off of there. Get off. Oh my god. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. Oh my god. Holy guacamole. Oh my god. I'm fucked. I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm, I'm dead. Okay. <sighs> he wouldn't get off. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Aw, oh, man, I'm back here. Do I have to listen to this again? I'm gonna just turn it on and run well, away. I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and... All right. I know most uh, let's go get that thing again. Now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll use. Um, see, I don't know if it's better if certain enemies, like certain guns, are better against. But maybe I'll use the flare gun. All right, let's go. All right, we pick that up. All right, now we're going to fight this guy talking about wieners. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the state. Barry Burster is the best with no curves. Monster Gold is second best. The famous dog is... Okay. Oh, shit! Okay, I'm gonna save that, because that was really epic. Oh my god, there's more. Shit. You can't touch me, bitches! I'm in the light. Okay. Alright, any more? Uh, I'm scared. Oh. I want to fight them so I could take this ammo. Where are they? Like, they're gonna just keep coming? Or what? Um, I'm gonna just stay here till my... Okay. I... I don't know. I think I should just run. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many. Woo! <gasps> no, ma'am. I'm scared. Okay, we're gonna sit here for a second. <laughs> Who? Okay, I'm a little nervous. I I don't know if I should just book it or what. I don't even. 
no more. Oh my god, there's one up there. Dude, look at all of them. Oh my god! Oh my god! You cannot even be serious! Okay, wow, this is actually really hard. <laughs> oh my god. I'm scared. I, I think I'm just gonna live under this light for the rest of my life. <laughs> You would, <laughs> you you would just book it, Bella. Just run. Okay, I might do that. Oh my god! All right, let's go. Ew! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'm. Oh my god! I'm gonna. Oh man, I don't know what to do. You keep forgetting the first episode. Flashbangs, maybe? Oh my god. Alright, I don't want to leave this. Run, bitch, run exactly. Alright, I'm gonna wait and see. I want to pick up this ammo. Try again. I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. I can't. I don't know. God, get me out of here, bitch. This is hard. Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me. All right, TV in the gas station. I stepped into the gas station's garage. <gasps> it was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Uh -oh. Lights spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. We haven't gotten An here yet, have we? An old TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Okay, we're gonna have to book it. Stop it, you little, literal fiend! You fiend! That's what I thought, bitch. Anyway. Um, oh, thank God. <laughs> They are, they're all fiends. All of them. They're all fiends. He almost killed me and I would have had to do it all over again. Who? Normal is pretty hard. Oh, please give me something. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um, at least we made it. Rip to any thermoses, though, down there. I ain't going back. Hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, we got a little something over there. Oh, here we go. I hear someone breathing. Is that me or is that the ghost things? What the frick? Anyway. I'm scared. Aha. Man, I'm getting a lot of flares. Stop this madness. 
Hey, Gold, how are you doing? I hope we're doing good unless I heard anything about Alan Wake. Have, how fun to see you play this. I'm knitting and watching the stream while well, your husband naps after. Oh, that's so nice. I hope you're enjoying knitting. That sounds so nice. Yeah, I, um, we're, oh, wait. Yeah, no, I want to take that out. We're playing this, but... Do you mind? I'm. Do you mind? Bella asked if I would play this, and then generously donated uh, the money to get it, and I said absolutely. So we're starting it today. It's my. I haven't. What was that? I haven't played this game since it came out, like way back, way back. You know, all those years ago. So we're playing the remastered, and I really am liking it. Um, I like the way that the people look. I, I think it. I think it looks like decent for a remaster of an old game, and I. I really am enjoying the story again because I don't remember much of this. I remember a little bit here and there, but not too much. Like I don't remember anything about like what happens to his wife or anything like that or how we got in this pickle i don't remember uh oh oh my god i'm being bamboozled i need to get that manuscript first run you f run faster oh my god they're right behind my ass the cabin on cauldron lake she asked the sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help, but I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Okay, that's gonna happen. Fuck. Get away from me, you turds. I'm dead. I'm dead. I died. I died a death. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Please put me right back there. <laughs> uh, oh, man. All right, it's fine. I think I'm going to use a flare gun against... Uh... Do I go down there? Where do I go? Wait, where do I go? I think I go down here. That doesn't make sense. I just killed myself. Damn it, I just went the wrong way. I knew it. Okay, that's fine. At least I get to heal myself again. Um, I think I'm gonna use a flare against those guys. Ah, this is the way. I'm just dumb. Um, so let me get that stash again. And I'm going to use a flare against the three amigos. That think they can bamboozle me. Because I don't know if I go in that building, if I'm going to be able to go back out and get that manuscript. Ooh. Not him not touching salad. can't believe he would never touch salad salad could be a hefty meal like you could put chicken in there and eggs oh god all these bamboozlers damn they're fast okay hold on okay at least i got Ugh, did it get two or one? I don't know. I think I got two of them. So that's fine by me. I'll take it. Alright, so we lie to the sheriff. That hasn't happened yet. Uh, okay. We can't go through there. And any... I haven't seen any coffee in a while, and that makes me nervous. <gasps> that was the same door sound effect that they use in Zelda. 
I like that. Use. Uh. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. Ooh! If our lives are already written... Wow, not the real people! ...change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Am I actually gonna, like, watch this whole thing? Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin. And I'm glad so many of you could join me here <laughs> at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, Except for a quick demo in store and sometime uh, I think about this game, but I never knew what it was about. It's very... As you can see, this I'd say is a loaded 9mm pistol. Psychological. What is he doing with that gun? And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. What? Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Please, please. I'm scared. Stay calm. What is there happening? Is no risk. Observe what occurs when Wh I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely D a dud. What? Not so. Observe the flower pot. What? And yet, I myself What is happening? Be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, That's I have ensured fucked up. that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every this is really messed up. In another reality, you die. Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, <gasps> this one thing uh -oh. did not happen here. You're insane, Cole. Yeah. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Gaze upon quantum immortality. No! Poor, poor Dr. Holy Colvin. shit. Felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. That's pretty messed up. That's like a Twilight Zone episode. Cool. Anyway, wow, I forgot I was playing a game for a second. Yeah, this game is really good. It, it, it's, it reminds me a lot. So if you never played it, it I very psychological, I would say. It's like a good cross between Evil Within, like it's got that kind of vibe, Deadly Premonition, and Silent Hill. It's got like a lot of those themes going on in here. And the main enemies you fight are people of the town or people from this so we keep picking up manuscripts for uh, a story that we have yet to write but it says we wrote it but apparently we never did alan wake doesn't remember writing it but the story is like these are all the manuscript pages we found so far they're describing things that have either happened to us or have not yet happened. And, um, but the people in the story are the people of this town that we're visiting. So it's like we're living through the story. Thank you for the stretch, Jen. I appreciate it. But yeah, that's what happens when you do too many drugs. So I've never played Silent Hill myself. I've seen playthroughs of the first, the second... I think the third, a little bit of the fourth, and then I think that's it. But Silent Hill scares me more than Resident Evil, I would say. 
You're scared the remake is never happening. Were, was there talks of it? What like what were they gonna remake? Were they gonna remake the first game? Where you what what did what is your name? I forgot the guy, who like you're looking for your daughter, Cheryl. I don't remember what his name is though. The PS One I remember like I watched a playthrough of it. Hope I got everything in there. But we so what just happened? I'm scared. Can I go back in that building? I'm going back in here for a second. Um, so, what happened so far, if you just, you know, got here and don't know what's going on, we're, we're Alan Wake, and we arrived at this town for a vacation with our wife, Alice, and we had to go to this guy named Carl Stuckey to get our key at the diner for our cabin. Instead, this scary old lady uh, who looked like she came from a funeral gave us the key to the lake house. And, but obviously it was like a trap, but they don't know that. Um, and so we went to the cabin, got in a fight with our wife, of course. And then our wife... Uh, it looked like she was drowning, like she was in the cabin, and then somehow she ended up in the water. And we dove in the lake, and then we woke we woke up in our crashed car in the woods. And that's kind of where we're going from there now. We're trying to make our way to the gas station um, through the woods. So that is what is happening. That's just like a rundown. I'm scared. I don't like this noise, because that means, like, people are around... Oh god, I hear them. Uh, I can't pick up any- Oh no. This is Mr. Stucky. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! You, you literal turd. Holy moly, that guy snuck up on me. Okay. Uh, oh my god, there's more! How many more? Shit, is there a guy behind me? There is! <gasps> you can't be serious right now. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm gonna die. I need light. Oh. There he is. Is he stuck? I'm scared. I'm wasting all my batteries on this bitch. Oh my god! Oh my god. Holy shit, will you die already? Oh my god. Nice. Nordic walking. Give me all that ammo. body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Yeah. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Yeah, so we just killed, like, the dude that was supposed to give us, like, our key. But, like, he wasn't real. So, like, I don't know if we're, like, in a limbo. I don't really remember, and like, much. I don't want this log to kill me. Um. Oh, nice. A thermos. But... So it's like they're not real, but they're real enough to kill me. So it's, uh, it's messed up. 
They were gonna remake the first game, I think, but then there was drama with the studio. No! A Metal Gear Solid should have uh, remakes too. That I've never played Metal Gear. Uh, that is something I would like to eventually play one day. But I've never played any Metal Gear games, but I've heard they're really good. Can you climb these? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm assuming we open this. So the thermoses are... I'm scared. They are the collectibles of the game. Um, the manuscripts and the thermoses are the collectibles. I don't know if, like, the manuscripts are considered collectibles or, like, part of the story. Like, I guess you don't need to find the manuscripts to, like, advance in the story. But the thermoses are the collectibles uh, that you, I'm assuming, get an achievement for. And I feel like... I've been trying to keep an eye out for all of them, but I feel like I probably at least missed one or two so far. Oh my god, we're finally at the gas station. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Yeah, so there's like a deer fest going on. Uh, where the town we're in is called Bright Falls. It's a very like close-knit town. You know, everyone knows everyone, so... It's, uh, After the insanity oh. I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Anything over here? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the quackle. That scared me. <laughs> we love that. All right, any, any secrets back here? No? Okay. But we are also a, 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 an author. Um, Alan Wake is an author, and it's... Uh, I don't know, like, would you say Bella would... Like, he's kind of inspired by Stephen King. They mentioned Stephen King in this and like earlier, and they talk about the shining a, a little bit. Um, so he's an author, which is again, why there's like manuscripts, you know, and it's, but the story we're finding is it focuses on him with like people in the town, which doesn't make sense. You know, it's so it's like a story writing itself and it's like coming true type of situation. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Okay, so he, Stucky's the guy we just fought. So he was the one we're supposed to get the, the keys for. And I guess whatever this darkness is, it, it overtook him. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Uh, that's pretty messed up. Ooh, this doesn't look very comforting. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Yeah, this doesn't look very comforting anymore. I don't like this. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel a presence in the dark. Just now, That's I can me. smell the perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? That's interesting. So, maybe we're our subconscious? I don't know. Because... He, what he said right there was if I keep writing it'll come true and then I'll bring her back so it's like he's 
sitting in the cabin writing out the story as we're finding the manuscript so like we can bring Alice back because Alice is our wife who went missing who supposedly drowned so but there, you know there's got to be a logical explanation for it all I just don't know what that is yet I guess the puzzle pieces haven't made themselves known but this game so far is really good I um I'm really enjoying it. The 60th annual Deer Fest September 15th to 8th, that's my brother's birthday, to 18th. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contest and surprise competitions, live music for the children, Bucktooth Charlie afternoons in Montgomery, the Mystics amazing Phantasmagoria evenings. Don't miss a legendary Deer Fest parade. That sounds like fun. I don't know what state we're in. I think earlier he said something about eerie, but I don't know if he meant like eerie as in like it's like creepy or eerie like Lake Erie. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what he meant. So I don't know if we're like, I don't know where we're located. I'm assuming we're in the States. I don't think we're anywhere else. Welcome to Bright Falls. I don't know where this, like, this also is probably like a fake place, but I don't know what state it takes place in. Okay. I need to find a phone. That's right. Wait, read. Oh, I know. I already read. I already read that. All right, is there a, aha. Ow, my ass. Great ball, Sheriff Station. <clears throat> oh, this was part of the manuscript too. She kind of looks like our wife. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are- I'm Alan Wake, but listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, what? I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. That's why. Are you okay? That's why the Listen, calendar said 1970. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the this forest. This is part of the manuscript. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Yeah, we killed him, but then he disappeared. She wouldn't believe that. Um, Pacific Northwest. Okay, so that's like up by, uh... Wow, that's fucked up, dude. So where's Alice? That's pretty messed up. Damn. Oh god, oh god. I no 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 no. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna mute that for a second. Um End of episode one. Sleep. Okay. We're gonna... I'm gonna have to mute that. Ow! I hurt my leg. Um... That's gotta be, like, Washington, um, Oregon, Idaho, up there. Is this, uh... Did this freeze? No. It's still playing music. Am I supposed to, like... Is this zooming in? I can't. I'm X. Like, I don't want to skip it. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. It could, it could be Seattle's in Washington. This could very well be like in a rural area of like Washington, Idaho, Oregon. That's all Pacific Northwest up there. Okay. I'm going to skip then. Here we go. on Alan Wake. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I 
thought maybe you could lay here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Ooh, nice. Trope now. She's missing. Alice? behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Damn. Episode 2. Hey, Black Pac-Man, how are you doing? I hope we're doing good. You wish you were here for episode 1? I just finished it. I'm so sorry. Damn. Clean shaven. I've never been to Idaho. I've only ever been to Wisconsin and Florida and Indiana. That's Honey, it. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Wow, what a nice house. Whoa, look at it out there. Wow. What a nice place. Holy moly. This is a nice apartment. Alright. Well, I want to take a look around first. This is nice. I, th I haven't played this game in years, like, since it first came out. So I'm playing the remaster. And it... Ooh, I saw coffee over there. It is... Uh... I mean, wow, this is so pretty. I, I'm i really enjoying this. Not a QR code. I wonder if you could take a picture of that with, like, a QR thing. Alan Wake. Nice. Ooh, manuscript page. Is this part of it? Oh, I have two. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lay in here in the I think it's an apartment. It's huge. playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Okay, that doesn't sound like Alan this time. Who's talking? This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time. Oh, maybe this is another book he's working on. Blood oh, no, Kai. What is this? Red. I'm scared. A gruesome, slushy, dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer. This is George Walk. The city. All right, let me see what you Becoming posted. Wonderful. Hold on. I can see them now. My wife and my baby. Honey, I'm The home. bulge slider for Sims 4. I need that. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Kai. This is, though. This is. So, so far, what's happened? Yeah, why is this voice so different? Unless, like, this is... The character that Alan wrote for this story? I don't know. That's that's a good question. It, his voice is very different. So what's happened so far is we have, um, in chapter one, we had a nightmare that we were fighting these, like, shadowy creatures, and we woke up next to our, well, we woke up in our car that was on a ferry getting to Bright Falls, which we we're going on vacation with our wife, Alice. Uh, we ran into a dude that was like the host of like a radio, local radio talk show um, named Pat Main. I think that was his name. And we asked him not to tell people that we were there because it was like for a vacation. And then we went to a diner because we had to meet this guy named Carl Stuckey to get our key to the cabin that we were staying at. And, like, people recognized us. The waitress wanted to, like, you know, hang out with us. Obviously, we said no. We went to the bathroom to, like, meet the guy because that's where he was. But this old lady who, in, like, a mourning veil, she looked like she was mourning someone, gave us the key instead and said, Mr. Stucky isn't available, gave us the key and the directions to the cabin 
we left. Obviously, it was a setup. I don't know. She was some sort of entity because she disappeared. Like, after you turn the corner and come back, she's gone. And, and Alan even makes a comment saying, funny, I didn't see her leave. You go to the cabin with your wife. Our wife is afraid of the dark. She's got, like, a phobia. So we get to the cabin, turn the lights on. Uh, our wife reveals she brought, like, a typewriter um, so we could, like, work on our book here because I guess we're, like, in the middle of a writer's block. We get upset with her. We leave. The power goes out. Our wife is screaming bloody murder. We run back into the cabin. She's nowhere to be found. And then it looks like she's drowning in the, in the lake surrounding the cabin. So we jump in the lake. <laughs> we jump in the lake after her. We wake up in a crashed car with like a concussion or something don't know how we got there we're in the middle of the woods and we're trying to get to a gas station but throughout the woods we're fighting these like weird shadowy entities and one of them happens to be carl stuckey the guy that we were supposed to get the key from so we end up killing him but he's like not really dead because he just like disappears um damn look at those guns and so we finally make it to the gas station and the police officer comes and we tell her we're staying at that cabin on Cauldron Lake. Wow, what a nice, wow, what a nice bathroom. Um, but she's like, there is no Cauldron Lake since the 70s. Um, and so our wife is missing and we don't know where, you know, we don't know what to do. And now we're in chapter two and we're doing a flashback. What a nice house. So that is what's happening so far. Wow. A nice closet. A nice bed. Why do they, they don't have curtains? It's weird. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm. Is she mold? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that scared me. Thank you for the quack. Yeah, she's mold. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, there was, there was a lot, but it was still, we don't know. Oh, in the whole time we're going through the friggin', um, I probably not tomorrow. I'll be streaming it though. Probably Thursday. I'm probably going to be playing Sims tomorrow. And then this again on Thursday, uh, just to, you know, like split it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, the whole time we're picking up manuscripts as well, but it's manuscripts based on the people of the town and it's almost like the story book is coming true um so it's like kind of like a fantasy it's crazy but um i'll probably be playing it on thursday hey, handsome. this is gonna be a long night but these shots are turning out great i guess you're gonna need that coffee then i'll go put it on damn we're looking i can't move we're looking good I think that's us. Wow. What a nice apartment. All right, let's go put that on. I'm sorry. Oh, they, I see. They just bought the TV to put there. Wow. And look at their balcony. Wow, this is real fancy. It's a really good game. I highly recommend it. I enjoy it. I'm, I'm pretty easy to please. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. All right, now what? They don't have curtains in their bedroom, and that's kind of weird to me. All right, now what do we do? So that's his office. I'm assuming this is her office. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me oh. what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. Ah, here we are. 
These look really good. Oh, that's that's the picture oh, in the sure, diner. Until Barry gets his hands on them, which by the way will happen over my dead body. Barry, I think is our the publicist. Last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. Damn, our fuse box is right here? Get the lights back on now. Honey, please. it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, this is not I'm a just, house. Yeah, it's an apartment. It's really crazy. Spooky. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. <gasps> I know, it's stupid. I could never. <laughs> I would be so paranoid. She's super afraid of the dark. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared yeah, of the dark, I, could I could never. I would be paranoid someone was staring at me. Eye. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. I'm really impressed with, I don't know, maybe, like, I'm no one to talk. I'm impressed with their models for it being a remaster. Um, I just, uh, I don't know. All right, Bright Falls the present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion. Oh, okay, but well, that's good. Obviously, been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. We need we need to find our way. Well, then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you I feel like some. shit, bitch. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc um. Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Yo, why is there like a dead fish right here? <laughs> Stop! Kai. We're gonna have a problem. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty ain't she not the biggest i ever caught if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me but she's right up there now she's a large mouth bass which is what you're after if you prefer a lure now if you want i, I don't know any fishing hand, i like fishing, fishing for you. Um, you <laughs> right he way. shouldn't lie <laughs> really matter, <laughs> wow <laughs> Jen, thank you for the own will get me off the water this time of year. Close but when I'm the patient, I lie. That's so funny. All right, Black Pikmin, no problem. I hope you have fun taking your dog out. The um, this game, I said it like earlier, but it's like it. It reminds me. You'll find the sheriff in her office. Uh, of uh, <sighs> Deadly Premonition, Silent Hill. And what was the other one I said? Oh, Evil Within. It's like a, it reminds me of a mix of those. He also looks like Sebastian a little bit. So, oh my God, it's that crazy lady again. She's like, you're going to hurt yourself in the dark. Ooh, nice. I'm running now. See, look at all these missing people. Have you, oh, seven. This game came out in 2007. 2007. You gotta be kidding me. I was 12. 11? 12. I was 12. Wow. I was in 7th grade. Disappeared on June 20th, 2007. Identifying features and knack for winning contests. How is that gonna help? Hey, are you the missing guy who's good at winning contests? Yeah, that's me. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, came out in 2010. Okay, never mind then. Who? I was a... Uh, I was a sophomore then. Wait, no, wrong person. You. Missing Richard Bow, Bruce Stansky, and Jacob Miller on a camping trip overdue. Haven't been in contact. If you have seen them or know their whereabouts, please call 555-9932. Thank you. Damn. That's scary. Ruvik! We love Ruvik. Come oh. in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thanks. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Your phone, Mr. Wake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm picking it up. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd locked me up. Unknown caller. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. What is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. What is going After on? You the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. What the hell? Wait, can I help you with anything? No. Oh, that lady's gone. I wanted to see her. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. That's already quick drinking. For Damn! Her. What the hell? Oh, no such luck. This is a holdup. Danny, pretty badly. Kai, you should um. Like that the moment he woke up. You should see if they have one like second hand. <clears throat> Wait, there's a kitty missing? Is that what it said? I missed the kitty. You can get to the back lot. If you're ever in the hospital, it's a nightmare for the people the who work there. Having a doctor is a patient Thanks. with a nurse as next to kin. Apparently, healthcare personnel is the worst. Really? Are they? Is it? The parking lot do they like? Door, and is it the, the way they act? Pay no attention to Walter Snyder on your way. Listen, lady, I'm trying to have okay. a conversation here. Oh my God, Kai! I can't believe you just asked me that. I would try to rescue you. Yes, I'm gonna put it in those just terms. Just go through the door there and pass the cells. Listen, hey, I got it, lady. Hey. Shush. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. this is Thornton. Look, we've located the break room. It's here. That's some good news, right? Oh my god, shut up over there, whoever you are. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. All right. You right? There's like 50 different people talking. This guy's screaming bloody murder. Hey, mister. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. There. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would. I turn you know, it on. Even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, sure, sure. I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen, listen, listen. You gotta listen carefully now. See, here's the kicker. That oh, space dead. alien. No, sir. <laughs> Not the space alien. You want to know who it really was? I tell you who it really oh, was. Oh, gold. That, that sounds so alien. messy. I know it sounds like it's crazy. Thing that a drunk would say, but believe me, 
Mm, yes, I believe I you, sir. Drunk then. Oh. All right. Well. Anyway. Goodbye. Any secrets? <gasps> I knew it. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Interesting. Uh, that makes me think... Can I see... Okay, <sighs> okay. I got all the pages except the nightmare ones since I'm not playing in nightmare mode. So that's good. I found them all. Hopefully I find them all in two. This guy is won't shut up. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Fence on the left, but we got a thermostat. Thermostat? We got... <laughs> We got a thermos over here. And we got a a little radio. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> That's true. At least they do know what they're doing. He passed out for 20... That was like my kid last night. Well, not last night, but... Wait, it sounds like I have a kid. I don't have a kid. I meant in The Sims. God, I need to. I saw. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't have a kid, please. I met in the sim. Please. I didn't even hear what this guy said. <laughs> Shit. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind My the My sim station. kid, there was something Alexios, the, the baby, car. he would play with, like, the bouncinator, then he'd pass away. I almost said pass away, and then he'd pass out. Oh, I don't have a kid, please. It's like that one time I was friggin' talking about... I don't even remember what I was talking about. I was playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and I said I used to be a nun. And, like, I... I said that completely wrong. I, I've never been a nun. I've never been a nun. That never happened. Ooh, manuscript is in there. Um, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. How do I get over here? Kick that bitch. He passed away. <laughs> oh... Right, I, yeah, my kid last night. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Okay, well, let's read this first. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Brighton. Ah, oh, jeez, Barry. Barry. Listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Damn. Why are they kidnapping my wife? What, like, what? Do they want money? What do they want? What if I never turn the light on? Oh, God. The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. It's me! He shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. <laughs> hey, stop, OG Anne Marie, how are you doing? I hope we're darkness. doing good. We're playing Alan Wake Remastered. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. 
The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. I wonder if, like, we're playing our subconscious. I really, like, I don't know. And we're out there writing the story in reality. We're playing Alan Wake Remastered. The scheme came out in the early 2000s. Is that TV smoking? And um, they just remastered it. It just came out a couple weeks ago. And Bella asked if I would play this. And I told her, oh, my God, I love that game. Like, I haven't played it in years, you know. And she graciously donated the money for it. So we're starting it today. This is my first stream with it. I don't remember much about the game. Little bits and pieces. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused oh i think this is the doctor regrettable little outing they are not accountable for their actions of course i can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded tor and odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm indeed all we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia oh, are those the two old guys are you feeling any better mr wake I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. <laughs> the cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing uh -oh. your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place oh, where. Oh, 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 oh. Take it easy. Oh my God, it's Barry. Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler. Oh, it's this agent? agent Barry coming if you through. Have business with Mr. Wake. I love you Barry. Talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. <gasps> Kai, you should play that. My offer still stands. Get me out of here. Barry! What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. We love Barry. <laughs> Barry's the best. Oh, I love Barry. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. <laughs> and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite <laughs> of good. Oh, no, Mr. bitch. Barry, you found him. I rose. Oh, Ew. Wow. I was just thinking about you too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. <laughs> Doesn't even say bye to Barry. Who's Max. <clears throat> what is he wearing? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, <laughs> a fan. I remember this area. Bucktooth Charlie, the skeleton of a Colombian mammoth. This specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the La Brea, Tar La Brea, I don't know, Tar Pits in 1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 98 when the Columbian Mammoth became Washington State Fossil, named Bucktooth Charlie. It has since become the park's official mascot. Why is he Bucktooth? That's crazy. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body Thermos. just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? <sighs> yeah, we're high. Please. Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Barry. 
it's your pants are too seller. short. But when you start confusing fiction <laughs> with reality, welcome back. I hope you had a good walk. Right, wait here. But what is he wearing? Like he he looks like Newman. Like I don't <laughs> I'm It'd be better if his pants were longer. Oh my god. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty. Don't right? even. You're right, Cabots. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but oh mine are kind of full here. Oh my god, dog. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay. Did that dog sure. step in the bear trap? What happened? Wait, no, tell me what happened. Crazy poachers. <gasps> Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some low lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to oh. be okay. He got lucky. I'm going to cry. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him okay, alone. Okay, we'll, we'll go get it. Forms on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. <clears throat> this whole thing, it... Listen, you hit your head. Yeah, like, and so out. what if I Come hit on. my head? You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Give me the form. Aha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. All right, Barry, just hold on a second. All right, here we go. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? <laughs> oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. All right. I feel like we're gonna... Wow, this is gorgeous. Oh, my God, I just knocked over that chair. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went boop into thin air. Yes, we already established this, Barry. A guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Yes. You hear that from people who end up spending time in... Barry doesn't get it. Barry doesn't get it. <laughs> right. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn right? Barry, His out. It. Oh. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. Barry is that typical that sleazy that character. Right <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> But what if something happens to Barry? Like his allergies act up. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. What? Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I bet there's mold in here. Spores, poison ivy. God, oh my god, I think I'm Barry. So oh my god, delicious. say it ain't so. I'm allergic to mold. You want to know where you can shove that flashlight? Lock the door when I leave. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead and do uh, it. Again. I think I'm Barry. Fine. Alone, but fine. In a cabin straight from a horror movie. Oh, not the... Oh, my God. This is getting a little too specific here. Not the horror movie cabin. Does it even have hands on it? No. Love to see it. I think I blinded Barry, too. I think I did. Damn, look at all these coffees. Ooh, batteries. Thank you. We need those. Okay, that's a locked door. Uh. Oh. Real funny, Al. Sorry. Real funny. Ha ha. Thank you. No, I'm leaving the light on for him because you never know. By a what? 
eaten by a what? Who knows? I think I'm berries since never heard before. I don't want to be Barry. Hey, didn't Barry in Resident Evil also wear a puff jacket? A puffer jacket? What are those called? Is the signature... Damn, another coffee. Is the signature look for all berries to wear a puffer jacket? Yeah, I don't know what a Gru is, except, like, from Despicable Me. <laughs> Most people... Okay, are sensitive to mold. The other week they had to close a ward at the nearby hospital because mold... Wow. All right, good. So maybe maybe I'm not Barry. Maybe we're all Barry. <laughs> maybe it's not just me. Um, I'm pretty sure Barry in Resident Evil wore a puffer jacket, though, so. All the berries have a signature look. Where do I go? Am I going the right way? I don't know. Not me being stuck. We love that. I think I went the wrong way. I think I have to go out the front. So they, he said it's a walk, didn't he? Yeah, so... Oh my god, I have a gun. Why did he seem... He sounded, like, scared. Interesting. I don't think I'd take the car this time. Damn. Wait, no, I can't take the car! Oh, shit. Wait, manuscript page. I'm missing a page. Never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something We're all Barry. <laughs> and here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Great. Wait, did I miss a page? That pisses me off. I'm mad at myself. Wait, can I drive the car? This is going to be epic. Barry had the keys Damn it. to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Damn, I gotta go on foot now. Okay, good. So they're in random. Who? All right, good. I didn't miss one then. So far. <laughs> good, cause yeah, that. What was that? That light's flashing. Cause that would uh, that would make me sad. Oh. Thank you for the save. I don't know. If I can save in this game, though, um, I think, uh, I think the game does checkpoints. I don't know if you can manually save it, though. Uh, okay, yeah, it might be automatic. Ooh, thank you. We'll be taking that. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make oh, it sound no, we're turning those back on. And I ever seem to manage. <laughs> 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 All the coffee around here. Rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No oh, I only have one gun again. <laughs> Man, I had the shotgun. I didn't even use it because I thought we were gonna keep it. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges too. Uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. 
That's right. Oh yeah, Matter the largemouth bass we were looking at earlier. Bass. Early this bass. Morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Okay. Are they done? Okay. They're done. I don't know if, like, it's beneficial to listen to them talk. I feel like it is sometimes, so I'll listen to them. Now, they already were, all the enemies were kicking my ass in chapter one, so I can only imagine um, them kicking my ass. Oh! What? What, what the hell? All I did was hit the tire. What was that? What was that, like a earthquake? I don't know what just happened there. That was spooky. I thought that was me hitting the tire. <laughs> right? The tire is range. Oh, shit. Can I climb this? No? Okay. We're going around town. Oh, my God. How do I get out of here again? Uh. Okay, Lover's Peak over there. Get out of the way. We got a trailer here. So, where's all the people staying here? Like, hello? I'm just going in people's cabins. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, my God. This one was destroyed. Look at all the dust particles. Oh, not another one. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. I don't have Especially much battery. In night springs. So the last one we watched, a guy killed himself. The man in the mirror. Uh oh, I'm scared. The man in the mirror. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. <laughs> how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim... Yeah, it's like a... It's, it's weird. It's like an actual show. Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Did he kill himself? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. The white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant? That's this is kind of scary, I right? Just one lone TV. Boy before the cops arrive, you know. He won't stop screaming. Am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. <gasps> oh my god! You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I I don't understand it. <laughs> this is so dramatic. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. <gasps> Whoa. Dun dun dun. That was crazy. Yeah, the first one, the guy was sh talking about quantum physics or something. Quantum realities. I don't know. 
That was really creepy. This is so cool. Um, and the guy, his machine, with it being plugged in, he would, he could not die. Like, he shot himself in the head, and, like, the bullet didn't go off. But then it got unplugged, and he died. Scary. Um, very psychological. Yeah, why are they so creepy? It's so creepy that they use real people, too. Wow, a payphone. That's crazy. Okay, a casual car run off the road. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. Oh, no. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. <gasps> Mr. Wake. Rusty's going to die. Was on that page. Quantum suicide. That's what it was. No, I kind of liked Rusty. Can we get a dog as like a friend? What was that? My thing is rumbling. Whoa. Spooky. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Whoa. Rusty. No. Rusty, hang on. Oh I'm coming. Please. Rusty. Oh, uh, Rusty, I'm coming. Oh my god. Anybody? Help me. I'm coming, bitch. Help, Help me. Oh god. What Can happened? Anyone? Please help. Holy shit. This is what Hello? I remember. Back here. I'm back here. Hey, please help me. Oh my god. This is so cool. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh hell it happened just the way it was on that page i found it came true it knew so dark it'll come back for me you must the lights in the office I, I have this is crazy okay rusty hang on i'll be right back whatever did this couldn't be far rusty had found a page from the manuscript it would help me understand what had happened. Oh my god, look at his leg! Oh, Max, you better not die. That's all I gotta say. Shh, good boy. Holy shit, look at all the blood. Wow. Is this the office? Dude, where am I going? <laughs> Get the lights on, that's what we're doing. All right, maybe we have to go out here. But holy shit, something like the only way to make sure that Rusty this was apart. safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Oh wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> oh no! The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bang uh, the way. Felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. It really Rusty could be a head injury. In fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. <clears throat> That's so scary. Yeah, this could all be in his head. Oh, man. That's messed up. His leg. Drop hazard. Thank you for the warning. I already accident. Oh, nice. Look at that. A coffee thermos. I accidentally killed myself earlier. I fell into the water. I didn't even notice it. But that's okay. All right. Let's unlock the door. This is crazy. Lily, thank you so much for the 2,000 points to the boost challenge. How are you doing? I hope we're doing well. Thank you so much. 
That's exactly what's happening. Which is why, so on those TVs, um, sometimes we see us, like, talking and we sound psychotic. Like, Alan is sitting at the typewriter saying, if I just type up the story, I'll get Alice back. So that's why part of me is thinking we're playing as his subconscious, going through what he's writing, which is why we're finding the manuscripts um, throughout the world, because he's sitting there writing at his desk about the town, and but we're playing through it. I hope that makes sense. I don't know, though. I feel like there's still more to it, but everything that we've found, it's coming true. Um... And here's another one. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. What? My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Spooky. <laughs> Black Pack Fan, thank you so much for the 1,500 points to the boost challenge as well. I really appreciate it. I guess he can't swim. Yeah, I don't know. He plopped in the water and then it was game over. And Bella, thank you for the 2,000 points to the boost thingy as well. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Taking a break before walking the run. Nice. That's awesome. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. That That's like, that makes the most logical sense to me, but... I don't, I feel like there is still more to it. Um, but it, uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, nice. I need all this. Is that ketchup? Was too late. Oh no. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back. Okay, on. I would take that as a weapon. Oh no. Rusty. Okay, Rusty Rusty's fucked. Rusty sounds uh that's not good. Oh god. The ground was covered with oily patches. Whoa! It like liquid darkness. I just ran into that. <laughs> so if I shine... Okay. I don't have to zoom in, but I could. I'm not... <gasps> oh my god. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Piece of cake. Rusty. Oh, boy. Is the dog okay, though? Rusty's gone. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. All right. Well, that mammoth is still here, so what do you mean? <gasps> the dog is gone. Oh, the dog is gone. Please. Don't feed the animals. What? Uh-oh. I think Rusty is now Fishing is dusty. Ooh. Well, Rusty's leg is better. <gasps> oh my god. Rusty! Rusty! Oh my god. I really hope the dog is okay. Oh my god. Stand still. Uh, where'd he go? This includes even 
Oh my god, I'm scared. There we go. Finally. Whoo. All right. Under a thin layer. Wait, where did all that go? Thin layer of skin. Can I take any more? No. All right. We've reached our limit. Oh, my God. I didn't even notice that. Oh. Oh, my God. Holy moly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. We're fine. No, we're not. Woo! Alright, we're good. <laughs> little panicking, but we're fine. Just just a little panicking. <laughs> hey, Claudia, thank you so much for the 2,000 points to the boost challenge. I appreciate it. Alright, hopefully no one else is after me. I'm trying to read chat. Alright, I hope the dog is okay. Oh, no problem, Claudia. I hope you're having a good lurk. He got so close. <laughs> he's had no hesitation. <laughs> this is this is really good. I don't remember. I'm assuming the remaster is obviously. Well, okay, this is the remaster. The original has all the same mechanics. I'm assuming, but I'm having a blast. I I saw one article that said that you shouldn't waste your time with this remaster but again if you haven't ever played the game or if you i don't know i think it's fun i like it i'm i recommend it i'm having fun i don't whoa i think it's creepy and spooky and good I'm, I'm at the edge of my seat, right? Those darn critics don't know nothing. <laughs> Jen, oh, remember to breathe. Ooh, okay. This area is so beautiful, though. Oh, nice. I need more batteries. That's what I need. Oh, who's calling me? What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw what? Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Exactly, Ow, Barry. Be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Do not feel field. Do not feed wildlife. Like, I don't know. Wow. In the uh original i don't know if all this was off limits like the fact i can go through this foliage right now is kind of crazy to me like okay that that might be death but i don't know you know usually games have all of this blocked off you know like they'll just block off like you can't go through the bushes um i don't know that's just kind of nice. Like, that you can actually walk through this. It's not just scenery. Like, I don't actually know where to go. And I think that's kind of cool. Like, I don't I don't know if I go down. Because they showed some stuff over here. Not the time, Barry. Tell me. <laughs> that might be death. You just never know. Ooh. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him oh, feel young. Oh, come on. forget what a train wreck his long-dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Okay, you make me root for Rusty, and now you make him look like a creepo. Come on. Why does she have to be barely out of her teens? This is barbaric I was rooting for Rusty I still like Rusty but he's dead so <laughs> huh. 
I don't know. Like, it, it said his marriage was bad, but maybe he was cheating. So maybe Rusty isn't a good guy. I don't know. Well, he's dead now. Rusty's dead. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> But, like, are they actually dead, or is this all a figment of my imagination, you know? He could be. They all could be alive. Like, what if this was, uh... Death. What if this was all just a dream, you know? What if he wakes up in the hospital bed with his wife? Uh-oh. Spooky music started again. All right, Lover's Peak is over there. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Right, he just wakes up. It was all a bad dream. Ooh. We're going on a little adventure. Ooh, okay, there's like a secret over here. Uh... Moonshine Cave. All right, we want to go that way. Moonshine Cave. This cave was a site of frequent and lucrative bootlegger activity throughout the Prohibition, 1919 to 1933. It was mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada. But at times, alcohol was also distilled on the... Okay, it was distilled on the premises. Okay, I thought I missed a word. Cool. Cool. Bats. Ooh, shotgun. All right, I have to make sure to use it this time. I didn't use it last time. Oh, and now we got a flare gun again. All right, nice. All right, well, we'll hang on to those until we, like, have a bigger fight to do. All right, Lily, enjoy your lurk and have a good walk. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. I'm excited. Hopefully I use it this time. Because last time I didn't. Where? Oh, man. The light just went out. Oh. Oh! Oh, my God. Should we use it? Oh my god, you cannot be serious. Oh, am I out? I am. Well, that was short-lived. I did not know there was a guy behind me. That was crazy. This game is scary. But it's good to know the shotgun does, like, one damage. No, I'm, okay. No, it kills him in one shot. That's what I meant to say. Shotguns are the best in games. I know the shotgun was my favorite in Bioshock. Could do no wrong. All right, let's go to Lover's Peak. We gotta get down there. Oh, man. Oh, no. Wait, there's two ways I could go. Let's go this way first. What do we got going on? Do not feed wildlife. Yes. Aha. Uh, Barry meets Rose. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated. But she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. <laughs> when it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. We love to see it. Barry's a jokester. Um... All right, I don't want to die. We love Barry. 
We love the comedy relief. Uh, is that it over here? You, you know, this would be a perfect spot for a thermostat. Oh, God. Uh, I'm scared. Okay. Um. All right. Well. Spooky. I don't know where the frick I am. Where are you? Show your face. I cannot. I... This... I'm... Finding a hay in the needle stack looking for coffee in the wilderness. I can't see diddly do. This map is huge for like being very linear. I don't even know where I am. Right? I hate these sounds. I don't know where I am. I lost the path. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I don't want to fight here. I can't see. I think this is the path. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, okay. Oh my god! Holy shnikes. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, wow, wow! Okay. <laughs> Who? I, wow. I keep wanting to, like, loot them, but I gotta remember they're not real, so. Oh. They're fast. They are fast enemies. I gotta get up to that light. All right, F any thermostats, I guess, that are here. Okay, we're good. The light heals all. Ooh, what is that? Oh, shotgun. Nice. All right, I need that. I'm going to save that then. For a rainy day. Oh my god, I almost just died. He almost walked off. Um, okay, we're going the right way. Did I say thermostat again? <laughs> I meant thermos. Yeah, the thermostat. The great old one. I'm afraid to read this right now. What if they sneak up on me? Alright. The great old one, felled by lightning in 1937. This, this exceptionally tall Rocky Mountain Douglas fir, oh my god, was over 200 years old. According to local legends, it stretched beyond the stars. After it fell, it was measured to be 66 meters tall, nearly a record length. Alright. That's crazy. Where do I go? Anything over here? They're like so quiet too. Thermostat. <laughs> yeah, you know, we collect thermostats out here. No big deal. Hello? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my... 
Okay, it's fine. Um, oh boy. Am I gonna make it? Oh, thank God. Okay. I'm running. Please. I need to get over here. <gasps> you bitch! Turn this back on. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh. They thought that they were... They thought they did something. but I am quick. Whew. Okay, I think my health is good. I need ammo and batteries very badly. And ask and you shall receive. Ooh. Uh, Wake sees the torch symbol. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind oh. it, Hidden by a rock sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. We've already done those. All right, Black Pac-Man, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much. Someone put an axe in the phone. Can you believe this? It's like someone's snoring. I wonder if I write a story if it'll come true. Hmm. Bear alert. Well, great. One more thing I gotta worry about. Just what I want. Oh my god. Please, for the love of god. I can't do this. Why are they gigantic? Come one, come all. I got an achievement for that. <gasps> That's so cool. Alright, I need more flares now. Oh my god. I didn't even kill all of them. We love to see it. That was really cool. Uh. Oh, there's a cafe. Alright, so Lover's Peak is that way. So we're gonna go this way. It's like the episode of Spongebob with the pizza where he's like, so you're telling me I have, we have to go that way? Then I'm going to go this way. But little did he know Spongebob was right. There's nothing over here. Emptiness. Uh. Wait, what about this way? What is that? Is that like a bloody shirt? Where am I? Oh, I came from here. Wow, we love to see it. Okay. Uh, then we want to go this way. Not really, but for your safety, stay on the trail. Okay. Anything up here? Nothing? Not even like a thermostat? Or thermos? Damn it. I'm... I hate it here. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Is it locked? Who blocked this off? They knew I was coming. All right, we got to go around. What time is it? Oh, my God, it's 3. I just started. It's 321. We just, oh, finally. 
We just started the stream. What the heck? I've been live for three hours. I don't think so. The tree the string was cut from started growing in 1846, the year the Oregon... I wonder if we're in Oregon. I don't know. The Oregon Treaty was signed. Other notable events marked on the rings. 1853, the Washington Territory was formed. Uh, all that fun stuff. Tree damage and forest fire, 21. Well, maybe we're in Washington. I don't know. Uh, or this tree... Whatever. Volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, 1970. Uh, Mount St. Helens erupts, tree felled by storm, 87. Damn. This tree's been through a lot. And now it's gyrating. Right? That poor tree got its insides cut out. Well, how do I get over there? It's late for you, too. Yeah, where did the time go? I'm having too much fun. I love this game. Do I have to climb over it like this? Oh, I guess that would make sense. <laughs> Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch at any cost. What? Wait, is there someone after me? Again, what? Oh my god, like if this couldn't get any worse. Why couldn't I write something interesting like Alan and his wife Alice went to the fanciest restaurant and didn't have to pay because it was on the house and they had the most delicious meal they ever had in their entire life and then they had a great vacation and then they went home and that was it why couldn't he write that oh my god why couldn't why couldn't that have happened Oh no, now we're playing the waiting game. Wow, look how far that goes. That light. Uh, oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that's scary. It's the abyss. Oh my god. Whoa, my game is lagging. Oh my god. Oh my god. What just happened? <laughs> Ew. Save me! Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. Who are you? That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. What the hell is going on around here? You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. <laughs> I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on. No, I lost all but my then, guns again. Oh. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. What? Come on, Wake. You better keep up. You set him up, and I'll knock him down, Wake. Wait, what? What are we doing? Um, damn. Not him saying that's how the story goes. Wait, but what if there's stuff up there? Hear that? It's them. That's 
what I got. Kill that dude, man. Oh my god. The flare didn't do diddly do. <gasps> oh my effing god, bitch. I know. Just give me the gun, man. Follow the kidnapper? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's more. Shoot him! What are you doing? Oh my god. Give me the gun. Give it to me. Lover's Peak. Right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Okay, but like... Give me the gun. Wait. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No can do. What if there's something over here? And nothing. <laughs> Are you kidding? Give me the gun! Ooh. No time for back talk. Pull him off, damn it. Just a little longer. Scare him off. I'm scaring him. Hurry the frick up. Get some light on those bastards. That'll keep them off us. Oh my god, I only have four left. Just a little longer. I almost got it. Okay, it's open. Wait. Move it or lose it. You're in the way. Stop fighting me. Like that, boy? Huh? You're wasting your bullets. Oh, you feeling better now, Wake? All cozy and safe. Hmm. I don't like this guy. Well, he is known as Kidnapper, so. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Not. Do you hear him breathing? This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Oh my god. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Thermos! 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 <laughs> Where's the damn thermos at? Give me that thermos. Give me the thermos. Oh my god, I'm stuck. All right, where's that guy at? Uh, hello? Listen, this isn't doing diddly do to these guys. Where's my dude at? Oh, he's over here. All right, come on. Oh my god. Bring it. Yo, what's going on? Oh my god, there's a guy behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, bitches. Oh my god, I'm scared. I can't, like, fight these people. Oh my god, this guy can't aim for sh shite. Okay, that guy's alive, you know. C can you hit them, please? Like, what's taking so long? Oh my god. 
Thank you. Oh my god. Come on down here, bitches. Oh my god, I'm out of flares. You gotta be shitting me. I didn't even notice. Oh my god. 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 <gasps> this guy is literally huge. Oh my god. <gasps> what the fuck? I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Please. I don't want to do that all over again. <laughs> I can't believe this. Man, I used all here. my flares. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. <gasps> oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> Banana ice cream, thank you for the quack. This stinks. I don't know what to do. Okay, there's not behind me yet. Oh my god! That's right. Will you shoot him? All right, all right. Wait, I didn't get the thermos this time, did I? Shoot. Oh my god, I, I, I'm stuck. Alright, let me go get that thermos. <gasps> you are a literal asshole. Oh my god, I'm fucked. Dude! No! Damn, this stupid thermos. Uh-oh. This might be a little bit of a problem for me. This might be a little bit of a problem. More players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Uh, I only have flares. Whoa. Are they coming up here? I'd rather them come up here. All right. All right, maybe I'll just get the thermos after. Will you kill this guy? What the hell? Oh my God. Oh my God. This guy sucks. Thank you, Gold. I hope. Oh my, let me let me let me read that. Ah, uh, Toy Cousin was damn nice. Like he asks why he's so tired all the time. It's because you don't sleep at night. He edits Wikipedia until. Oh my goodness. Wow. Two three a.m. That's so late. I hope you have a good rest of your night, though, Gold. Thank you for hanging out, and um, yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your night. Thank you so much. Is it almost ten p.m. for you? I would like to finish this part. So it'll save, and then we don't have to worry about it next time. We're going to forget the thermos. If I can go back for it after, then we'll do that. Um, oh my god. Will you kill him? Thank you. Oh, the stinks. Oh my god. This they're so fast. Oh my god, here come more. Oh 
Oh my god, that big guy is coming! Okay, what? You, you can't be serious! It's literally up to this guy, and he's doing the shittiest job known to man. Okay, I, I panic used it. Please tell me we're done. Oh, thank God. Okay. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What? What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> no, the thermos! Oh well. Oh, my mom texted me. You're gonna give me All right, hold on. Or you'll be sorry. No, come back here. I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice. Do you hear me? Come back here. The entire manuscript. He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Damn. I'm On still missing a page. Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't <laughs> right, simply the absence of This is stressful. Light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own. Something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else. Something foreign. And nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant. Until now. Damn. All right. I, I'm hoping it save there. I don't know. Maybe we should go a little bit more. Is that death? Well, that's not fair. I just got hurt. Rip to that thermos. I wonder if there's like another one over here. Man, this area is gigantic. Unless I'm supposed to go this way. I don't think so. This map is bigger than Last of Us map. <gasps> what the hell? You gotta be kidding me! Rusty had warned me about these traps. <gasps> God. I thought that was a manuscript. Oh my god, I walked right into that. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's go back. I thought that was a manuscript. I saw one up here. I swear I saw a page. Did I come from there? Oh wait, do we go over there? I don't even know. See, yeah, look, what is that? Oh, is that a bear trap? It is a bear trap. Alright, so it's not the manuscript. I gotta be careful. Damn, I can't believe he's still walking. That was a trick. Oh my god, there was another one right there. 
Oh, bitch. All right, I'm getting out of here. Look at them all. Oh my God. Holy crap. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Oh, I can shoot them. But should I save my bullets? I kind of want to go back over there. I didn't go across that lodge or ledge or whatever. It is. Oh! oh my goodness. Uh. Oh my God, where am I? I'm going to be honest. I don't know where I am. Um, log. I didn't go across the log. That's what I, that's what I'm trying to say. And I don't know where I, I'm actually lost. <laughs> I don't know. Where I came from or where I have to go. I think I go that way, but I wanted to go across that log. <gasps> I don't know how to get back over there. I'm stupid. Holy shit. <gasps> oh, oh my god. I feel like this is life or death. Finally. Okay, this is where I wanted to go. I could never. Please don't have bear traps over here. Is there really nothing over... Oh. I was supposed to go... I see. I just decided to fall down and take a chunk of my health. I'm supposed to go around town. Okay. I thought there was a secret over there. Just kidding. Hey, Kelly. How are you doing? I hope we're doing good. <laughs> I hope you're doing good. Wow, we love to see it. Uh, I gotta go this way. Oh, jeez. Okay. Take it easy. 50 million bear traps. Don't you think this is a bit excessive? <gasps> Supplies. Nothing. <gasps> thermos! I see you over there. I want to get that thermos. Uh, how do we get over there? That's the question. No, please, I don't, I don't have it. Please. Oh, here we go. I swear. I am healthy. I'm glad you're do. <gasps> I thought I just died. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing good. Are you, like, lunch at work? Are you taking your break? Oh, no. He's caught in a bear trap. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Oh, no, no, no. You'll never take me alive. Oh my god. Whoo! Oh. I got one flare. Wow. <clears throat> oh my god. Now I gotta worry about these buffoons. God, that scared me. Stop sneaking up on me. Oh, God. I need to get out of here. Please don't have bear traps. Oh, my God. Whoa. What's happening? What the hell? 
Oh my god. I don't know what's going on. I hate this sound. <gasps> Did I miss a page? No. Oh no. Where was it? Shit, I didn't even see it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wh why do they sound like Piggly Wigglies? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I'm running out of ammo. Damn. It was too... Damn, I missed a page. Oh, man. Oh, it was right before I saw the thermos? Damn, I'm blind. I don't even know where that thermos is anymore. Oh, I'm so upset. Alright, well, that's okay. Lord of the Flies looks different here. I feel like they're gonna keep coming. You gotta be kidding me! Missed by a mile. Love to see it. Oh. Oh my god. I li Oh my god, you're- I don't have many bullets. This isn't good. I need to get out of here. Uh... Is this the right way? Oh, I see. <gasps> oh, where the frick am I going? Up? Maybe it's up. Go faster. Oh my god. Oh, please. Oh my god. Don't even think about it, bitch. Oh. That was so scary. <laughs> Okay. Well, I missed a page, Rip, but that's okay. This guy is huge! I'm scared. I'm gonna stay in the light. That was very scary. These people are terrifying. Like, holy crap. I'm stuck. Oh, look, another thermos. Pick it up. Any Anything over here? No? Where'd that guy go? Here's one. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. Uh, That's when I heard the chainsaw. Come on. Are you kidding? That... All right, well... Oh, hunting rifle. I heard the chainsaw. Are you for real? Why couldn't I hear, like, an ice cream truck? Why couldn't I hear a popcorn machine? Oh, my God. Right, we love an audio book. <laughs> that was, uh, that was intense. All right, that's nothing. Anything else around here? Uh, I can't believe he said chainsaw. Come on. Oh, I hope this is the right way. It's gotta be, because I don't know where the frick I am. Oh my god. Um, unless we... Hold on. 
Okay, hold on. My dad just texted me. Okay. Um, shoot. I I probably should have just quit back there because I don't think I... Did, did I just get a checkpoint here? Because, like, this is a light... I think I have to save it here because my, um... My... Was that my brother or was that in the game? My brother needs help. So, I think what we're gonna do is... I'm gonna save it here. Um, depending on where it puts me with the checkpoint, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see next time when that happens. Um, but I'm going to save it here and then, um, well, we're going to continue this on Thursday. So tomorrow we'll be back with Sims, probably either Sims 2 or Sims 4. I'm not sure yet, but then we'll continue with Alan Wake on Thursday. I think that is my brother. Um, and then we'll continue this on Thursday and then maybe more Sims on Friday. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. Let me thank you guys properly in the activity feed. Thank you for all the sound alerts, hydrate, saves, posture checks, stretches. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And just right, thank you for the four month resub. I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. And I think that is it. And again, thank you for all the hosts as well. I, I can't seem to fix it so we'll figure it out um hopefully they just like randomly fix itself again um but i love you guys thank you guys for hanging out with me today um i apologize i had to end so abruptly but my brother needs my help um anyways i'll be live tomorrow around 12 p.m central standard time with more sims and um yeah i hope to see you guys then um Nice. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I hope you all have a good rest of your day, rest of your night, whatever time it is for you all. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye, guys.